G'day everyone, it's Andrew Whitehouse here and this week we're talking about something slightly different and that's motor movements. Now of course we diagnose autism based on the presence of social communication difficulties as well as the presence of repetitive behaviours and we don't often talk about motor movements, so how we walk, how we get around. Um, the study that we've uh, linked to this week is a meta-analysis of motor movements in kids and adults on the autism spectrum. Now meta-analysis is where you go to a certain area and get all the different um, studies in a particular area and you summarize them. The main findings of this is that actually there is really good evidence that uh, there are for gait abnormalities, so walking difficulties in children and adolescents on the autism spectrum, particularly a wider step width as well as a slower walking speed. There are a few others as well, but they were the main ones. And that's a really interesting finding. And that's really the main takeaway point here is that actually on average, we do see greater um, preponderance of gait abnormalities in kids and adolescents on the autism spectrum. And that's really just a, a spark for us to make sure that we are aware of these difficulties that, that might be more common uh, in the autism population and to make sure that we address these when they arrive.